Hank here with my review of the May Ono Aluminum Live Streaming Microphone Arm, the BA92. May Ono was kind enough to send the BA92 to me for the purpose of this review. Inside the box, you get the boom arm, desk clamp, microphone cable management covers, a swiveling ball end, a tightening Allen wrench, and of course, documentation. The BA92 currently retails for $79.99 US dollars. Build wise, this microphone arm is sturdy and made of an aluminum alloy. The boom arm is capable of swiveling at the two joints 360 degrees and has a combined pivoting of the end arm of up to 95 degrees. The ball head allows you to adjust it up or down 90 degrees and will affix two 3 8 inch or 5 8 inch microphone thread adapters. The desk clamp will fit desks as thick as approximately 2.2 inches. Now my desk is 24 inches wide and was posing a problem with my current boom arm I had been using because I started to use vertically mounted side address microphones more and more and reviewing them and, and just using them in general. And that particular boom arm was just having trouble getting across this desk. I was kind of leaning forward over the desk. However, with the BA92, I can actually back up from the desk with full extension, reaching approximately 28 inches. So that would allow me to be four inches off the desk and still have the microphone right up to me. And if I were using an end address microphone, whatever the length of the end of the microphone that would stick out further than a side address microphone, I would get that distance as well. So it works wonders when you have a bigger desk like I do. When it comes to positioning, I love the way this swivels. It has more of a low profile design and even having the clamp oriented to my right, I can adjust the arm to be to my left. So now I could work the mic from this side, even though the clamp is to the right and you really can't tell on this camera shot. So it's just the convenience of being able to manipulate the arm and get it in whatever position you need it to be in. The heaviest microphone I have is the Neat King B at 2.47 pounds in its big beekeeper shock mount you know it's got the honeycomb filter it's got every bee theme thing you can think of but i love the microphone and it doesn't do anything to this boom arm i can position it any way i need to and it easily holds it as the boom arm supports microphones up to four pounds chime in in the comments down below what is the heaviest microphone there is out there because i've never owned anything heavier than the king b2 in its shock mount almost two and a half pounds on the pros, there are a lot of them. Most notably, the build quality. I love the sturdiness of the aluminum alloy. I also think that the clamp is fantastic. It has a lot of heft to it, and you can just pull the boom arm straight up and out of it if you need to move it and such. It's not a big pain in the rear to get it out of there. And being able to fit 2.2 inch thick desks that's pretty exceptional as well. It's really an uh, excellent construction on that part. I also like the cable management being underneath and me not having to zip tie every point of the cable like I've had to do in the past. It's got a really slick cable management system and I do appreciate that. I also love that you can swivel the ball head and vertically straight up, straight down, and then tighten it down in position. I use a Gator Frameworks quick release, so I'm always going to have it in this vertical position just because that's the best way for me to get the microphones off quickly and switch to another microphone. The ability to stack on heavy microphones is also a huge plus. Gone are the days when I used to use the Blue Compass when it would just sag when I would put this microphone on it, and sometimes this microphone would be laying on my Mixcast 4 or Rodecaster at that time. I also appreciate how the extending arm can pivot up and down. My desk is a standing desk. Actually, it can raise and lower. 
So having this pivot arm be able to go up and pivot down makes it very convenient for using this style of desk for my use case. On the cons front, I would have to say if I had to get nitpicky, I would just have two things I would nitpick. The ball end being plastic, I feel like it's really sturdy and that it's going to last a long time, but that would be cool if it were metal. But it feels really well constructed, and me being in this vertical position all the time, I don't foresee any issues with that. And then the only other thing that I would nitpick on this is what I nitpick on every boom arm that has come out in the last five years. Obviously, companies are going to brand their equipment because they want other people to see it on streams or in content creation and use it. I don't always want to show off companies branding. That's just my personal strange opinion. While I totally understand why every company does that, they want other people to see it and go, oh, I'll get that because my favorite streamer or podcaster or YouTuber has that brand and it's great marketing. But as you see, it's a, more of a low profile use right here. So on the camera, you can't even see it on my use case. Now, if it was coming up and over, you know, if it was one of those style, you know, a boom arm style where it's up and over, then I could see that being an issue. But this being such a low profile, it's easy to get it out of frame. And because I use the Gator Frameworks quick release microphone adapter, that adds that extension too, so I can keep it lower. So many companies have their branding on their equipment. It's just the way it is nowadays. As I said, just pointing out a couple of nitpicks. Overall, I would say this is a really good buy. There are bigger brands that make this style of arm, but I don't see a reason to pay more money unless you have a specific use case for that that I'm not aware of. But for what I'm doing, this works perfectly. I'll keep the BA-92 in line for the next several months like I did with the arm I used prior to this. And I will report back and let you know what my experience has been. But right now, I'm loving it. I think it's a really good value at $79.99. So if you're in the market for a boom arm that's low profile and that has the pivoting and swiveling like this one does, and you don't want to break the bank on some of the higher end ones that are out there, check out the link in the description. Please be sure to subscribe to my monthly podcast gear newsletter where you can get info on the latest podcasting gear coming out each and every month and a roundup of all the YouTube videos I've created in case you've missed notifications, etc. Lots more to come. As always, thank you.